<clears throat> hey everybody. My breakfast still stuck there. <laughs> Good morning. Hey everybody, it's Erin. And I am just one pushed because I haven't gone live in the group for a while. Been super uh, focused on my interview series and the quality and the amount of people that are coming forward to be on my Perspective Sifters live interview series um, has been extremely overwhelming um, to me. It, it's it's humbling. It's overwhelming. It's amazing. It's everything that I've wanted. And what it comes down to is um, there are just some things that I'm not willing to sacrifice when it comes to that. And I wanted to pop in here and talk to you guys about non-negotiable things. So um, <clears throat> those interviews are usually on Thursdays at 1 o'clock. It's a standard thing. I set it up to fit my schedule. Um, I'm not going to switch that. It's Thursdays at 1 o'clock. However, if something crosses my path that I think is just out of this world extraordinary and needs to be brought forward, I'm going to do a special edition. Doing one today at 2 o'clock. I'm just here to tell you, you guys need to make time to listen to what's at 2 o'clock today. If it's worth me changing and altering my schedule to fit in promoting, putting it in front of people, putting it on my promo schedule, emailing my client list, for an out of normal topic, it's worth your time. It's worth my time to do that. Um, so back to the non-negotiables, right? So what's what does that mean to me? Non-negotiable means something I'm not willing to change or give up. Are there exceptions? Sure. However, things like my morning routine, that's non-negotiable. Things like good manners from my son, non-negotiable. Um, things like um, showing up. How do you show up? How do I show up for you guys? It's non-negotiable. I'm here. I'm present. I'm presenting. I'm bringing forward. I'm if you're my client, I'm on top of my game all the time. Um, I show up the same, consistent all the time. Um, I get dressed. I come upstairs to my office, right? I get in the shower. I put on office clothes like I'm going to my office because I am, and I respect the space. Another thing that um, was kind of on my mind this morning was pushing through. Now, what does that mean? Um, some clients in the last couple weeks um, really are coming up against um, some pretty big things that are scary for them, right? Because things are changing in the world and around them, around us. Um, everybody is, right? We all shift and move and grow and expand ourselves all the time. And if you don't, then you're stagnant. So you get to make the choice. Do you stay stagnant? average this is good enough or do you push the walls of your box you pop the top off right and you're like there's better out there there's better out there but that you know when you come up out of your box right and you peek over the edge and you're like that's scary right it's like um it's like that first time you do anything it's scary you don't know you don't know what to expect you don't know what's going to be on the other side you don't know if it's going to be received okay but does that even matter because the draw and the need and the want and the desire at a cellular level inside of you is pushing you to go forward and when you don't listen to that need and want and desire at the cellular level what happens you stay stuck we all know that you get overwhelmed because nothing's working right. You get um, 
combobulated because you can't handle all the things that you know of the overwhelm and the stuff just never keeps getting done and the need and want desire doesn't go away and um and then your then your your mood changes because you're not following what your heart's desire is and that need and that want and desire doesn't get relieved on any level and then what happens like you get cranky and you start not feeling good and your gut quits working right and your head starts hurting all the time and all of a sudden you fall out of your normal routine and you're not you know if you're an exerciser you're not walking or if you're you know if you are a person that usually does a specific routine you stop doing that so long story short is what happens when we don't listen and we don't push through the fear right because anybody can do anything that's easy a monkey can do it you can train anybody to do easy stuff right but to do it and to answer that need and that want desire to push through that oh, I don't know I don't know what to expect I don't know what's gonna happen I don't know what's going on I don't know I don't know what if oh my god I'm not qualified ah that to push through that and go I'm gonna go see what's on the other side of this and that just expands and blows your out of the water right and that leveling up and that constant looking for the cure <laughs> that's not really the right word um, it's kind of like quenching the need right for the drive to go better yourself to go do whatever it is that if it's writing a book if it's um, running a 5k for the first time ever whether it's um, you know moving cross country whether it's um, you know I don't know whatever whatever that does that whatever being an artist for God's sake or a musician or you know to create some really cool foundation that's just been just inside your heart for so long to do what if you don't do it what happens if you don't do it is that greater than trying to do it just think about that so I don't know all these kind of things were just rolling in and making me think this morning and my next thing to talk about is asking the questions right so there's been a lot of talk out and around in my community I'm drinking my green juice because it's good for me about what people charge for their services whether they're an attorney whether they're a consultant of some sort whether an um, you know a VA or an accountant or whatever you do there's been a lot of chat discussed on what people charge why does it matter what people charge what matters is it does that person that you're hiring line up with you are you asking the right questions are they going to provide what you need have they ever done that before um, what is their proven success rate how many clients have they had you know what do they have a coach that's my number one question hey do you have a coach because if that answer is no move on plain and simple plain and simple if your person that you're hiring does not have somebody that they pay to mentor them in some fashion move on what do I mean by that that person that you're potentially going to be investing a lot of money in I don't care what the number is I don't care if it's 50 bucks you're still investing money in that person right so whatever makes you comfortable on that level of investment ask the questions what are you going to get for your money do they have a coach 
if they don't have a coach, then they're not continually up in their themselves to provide you and, and the other clients of theirs service at a higher level, at a better level, in a better way, in a, you know, to incorporate new things into what they offer, right? So when you're talking to potential people to hire and to spend money on to help you with something, make sure it lines up with you energetically, make sure it lines up with you emotionally, make sure it lines up with you financially, and that you guys are going to be good working partners because not everybody's going to be able to be that person for you, right? So just a couple thoughts there. Um, and that just kind of goes hand in hand with my next thing on investing in yourself. Um, that's huge. Those of you that are my clients know that that's a huge thing for me. If you guys have um, at all been following me, I am very, very, very much a part of investing in myself, upping myself, um, expanding my knowledge, um, incorporating different thought processes into my field and my arena to to expand myself, right? You don't know what you don't know until you need to know it. So how do you know unless you invest in yourself and you expand the box and you push through and you ask the questions, right? They all kind of stack on each other. So am I investing in myself? Absolutely. Have I had prior coaches? Absolutely. I'm in between coaches right now. Um, hence, uh, well, not hence, but because I'm done with one and I'm moving on to the other one and there was a couple months of lag time in between, right? So um, um, my next venture starts um, in a couple weeks and um, between the first week of September and the uh, first or second week of December, I will be making five trips, five, five trips to San Diego for a very high level leadership academy that I've been, uh, that I had to apply for um, and be accepted. Um, and it's a large investment, right? Not only time-wise, not only financially, but um, emotionally, right? And um, all of the stuff that goes with it, not only the work for the academy that I have to do, but then, you know, I still have to make sure that my home life is, is functioning while I'm gone, right? So all the prep that goes into that, all the making sure that the arrangements are made and, you know, um, things are taken care of that are usually my responsibility while I'm home. Um, not that my husband can't do it, but just to make sure that they're set up to succeed, right? Not set up to fail. So um, that is my next big investment um, in myself is this Leadership Academy, which again, um, includes five trips um, to San Diego between now and in the middle of December. Um, a lot of my time, a lot of my energy, a lot of my thought, um, but I'm really, really excited about it. And why am I doing that? Because that goes into my next little point here. It feeds my soul. I am all about leadership. I am all about empowering um, women specifically to up-level themselves and how how you can incorporate these things into um, into what you do, whether it's into your office or into your 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 um, industry that you do or into your your own personal leadership roles how are you presenting yourself as a leader if you are not training yourself as a leader so um that's what i'm doing that's i'm super excited about it and um i want to talk to you about this afternoon also and then i'm going to hop off here because i've talked long enough <laughs> Um, this afternoon is one of my special editions on my interview series. Um, it's at two o'clock today. Uh, it is with a lady who um, owns um, the Imagine Retreat Center. She is the founder, the the brains behind Kitchen Table Conversations. If you guys are families and you have that that at home, it's brilliant to have conversations with with your kids at any level or your spouse. Um, with this um, that she's developed and her newest her newest thing is called drop of thought and it's about a viral movement um, that in and of itself it'll allow you um, you have to apply for this program as well but and it's free but you do have to apply for it uh, and it can potentially reach millions of people it's like the one drop of water can cause a tidal wave that is that is the premise of this afternoon's 
conversation with this lady and I am super excited to help her with her her vision and her her mission to take this um, drop of thought but and go viral with it and I am I'm blessed to be a integral part of that and hence why a little special edition today on my perspective shifter so that'll go live on on my business page the accelerated business strategist um, and again if you guys don't know me that is what I do I am an accelerated business strategist and a growth consultant ah! Thanks for a thumbs up to whoever's watching. I don't know who's on with me. I know some people are on with us. Um, but I help you get clear, focused program alignment, um, you know, optimizing and leveraging, leveraging you, and your results are, are increased and strategized and it um, ultimately puts you in front of your key clients and bringing you some ROI back into it. Hey, Christy Mo, how are you, honey? Um, but that is what's going on today. Those are just, oh, oh Iran's calling me. You think that's good? <laughs> no joke. Look, it says Iran. Wonder what they want. Um, <laughs> but those are kind of just my uh, thoughts coming out of the eclipse. I don't know. It was just kind of overpowering me this morning um, that there are absolutely non-negotiable things on my docket that um, allow me to push through my fear, that allow me to ask the right questions to the right people in the right time to invest in myself, to feed my soul, and to, yeah, they all just kind of cascade, right? They all just kind of dock off of each other there. And so I just want to encourage you guys to do that. If you need me, you guys know how to reach out and tap me. I am available all the time for you guys. Well, not all the time because I have office hours, but I am available to you. That's another thing, non-negotiable. <laughs> yeah. Nicole? Yeah, okay, I will do that for you, Christy. I will do that. Get me an appointment with um, with uh, the president, and uh, he and I will have a conversation. So, <laughs> you're an awesome good seed, always with the same awesome info. Oh, I love that, yeah. So, I am here for you guys, um, and I am always here shifting your perspective and raising the vibe for us. Have a great day, everybody. Hey, hop on and see me later this afternoon at 2 o'clock on my business page. Have a great day everybody.